means we can vote them out of office. We're here today because our government is again levying more intolerable acts upon its people. Only you can decide if your government has become destructive to your God-given rights. But before this Tea Party continues tonight, I need to tell you about one more signer. A very special man, Caesar Rodney. Caesar Rodney knew that to overcome fair and unjust treatment, Americans would have to rally around a common purpose. That purpose declared 233 years ago to denounce those intolerable acts of government. Unity and our common cause for freedom would make the difference in winning the revolution. He was a wealthy man. He did not have to engage in this declaration, signing, or the fight. He could have paid his taxes and enjoyed his life. Rodney was also ill. Uh, National Review Magazine, The Washington Times, he currently serves as the State Director of Americans for Prosperity. We still have that? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alan Gillis? Gillette! <laughs> Thank you very much. How's everybody doing today? I am incredibly honored to be here. My name is Adam Gillette. I'm the Florida State Director of Americans for Prosperity. And a lot of people love to joke about our name, Americans for Prosperity. John Stossel from ABC Television spoke at one of our events. Socialistic scheme. The only thing it will do is kill the American dream. You want to take money for the cheaper. population of an estimated 950,000 persons cost the state taxpayers more than 3.8 billion dollars. The 3.8 billion annual price tag covers only the cost of K through 12 education, medical care, and incarceration of illegal aliens in Florida. they jump off and steal our news media coverage, right? 
But no, we do have the media here, and we need to thank them for being here. But you know, folks, today, today, it doesn't end. We have to be committed that this movement goes on, and we're not just dependent on rallies, rallies to uh, support the cause and the momentum. We need to be willing in our own homes to do something, one or two hours a week. And that's what we're calling and asking you to do. We do have HM19 in the Florida House and the Florida Senate. We have the Florida Firearms Freedom Act, HB21, also that's been introduced. But most importantly, I want to tell you about another bill that we just got done writing, and we introduced it, and we're trying to get some local representatives to sponsor it. It's called the Federal Tax and Escrow Account. Let me tell you a little bit about this. See, Sovereignty Action is named Action because we believe that all these organizations are great in informing you and telling you about different things and issues. But what is most important is that we accomplish something. And it is about time that our politicians realize that we're no longer going to be just whiners and complainers. We are going to be activists. Acorn better watch out. Because, my friends, my fellow Floridians, it is about time we get off our seat and on our feet and do something about the protection of the Constitution. The Federal Tax Escrow Account says this. It says that we are tired of Washington, D.C. controlling what goes on in our state. So, did you know that this past year, 23% of our budget was to enforce federal mandates? Things that the federal government told us, Florida, that we have to do. So, you know how much of the budget they provided for us, including the stimulus dollars? 8%. Now, my friends, that's a huge discrepancy. And so what I'm here to tell you today about is the federal tax escrow account. And this tax escrow account will be money set aside in Tallahassee. All the tax money collected from any source will go and sit in Tallahassee. And every quarter, every three months, our Florida state legislatures will come together and they will vote and they will decide whether or not Obama and his administration deserve our money.